What's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here again with the gameplay commentary. Today, got something super duper special. This is a, my first good gameplay on Modern Warfare 3. I know you guys requested my first game, but guess what? My first game was halfway through a game of Team Deathmatch. And it was only about two minutes long, and I have some things I want to talk about today, so I did not want to use that game. I still have it on my computer, so if you guys really want to see two minutes of me basically not doing very well. I guess it's not really anything exciting, guys. There's tons of other people who are releasing their first gameplay, so if you want to go see that, go check the other people's out, because mine is only about two minutes, and it's not really worth it. My second game was nothing special either, because I ended up leaving that lobby, because... I didn't really like players in the enemy team. They are all new to me with the G3, 6C, although it sucks. If you watch so Powis' new vi newest video, he mentioned that the new team sucks, and he is 100% correct. They suck in this game. And that basically brings up what I want to talk about today, guys. Mono Warfare 2 versus Mono Warfare 3. Now, unless you're on crack, I think we can all agree upon the fact that this game is much better than Mono Warfare 2. But I want to explain to you guys why. And for most of you guys, this is kind of obvious information, but I just want to establish, for those of you who guys who are hating on this game right now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I was going to, but I am enjoying it a lot. Now, the first thing I need to take make a point of is, in Moth 2, the obvious problems were the UMP was extremely overpowered, everyone used it, and it was annoying as crap. In this game, the UMP is basically no different than the MP5. It's the exact same gun. The only difference is the UMP's got slightly less recoil, but better, but the, um, less, re less recoil, but it's got, um, low rate of fire. So, they're basically, they're basically very similar. The UMP is better at long range than the MP5 because it's got better accuracy, but they're basically the exact same guns. Now, and then the second problem is noob tubes. Now, like I said, they've been completely fixed in this game. And you'll see at the end of the game here, I pick up a G3 6C from the default class that does have a noob tube on it. And I start shooting at, these, at this one guy, and I, I think it lands right next to the guy, and I get an assist. Or something like that. Or the guy maybe I'm already dead, but I don't know. The point is, the noob tube sucks this game. So that is not a problem no longer in Modern Warfare 3, which is fantastic. The third problem with Modern Warfare 2 that I can immediately point out is commando that is not in this game but I will say that knifing is still an issue in the Call of Duty series at this point Robert Bowen said in one of his interviews that they were going to be nerfing knifing and changing the way it works that is a complete lie the knife is the exact same thing as it was in black ops basically it's no different yes commando is gone there's no more 20 feet lunges but the lunge factor is still there like it was in black ops and it's, it's still there, which is very disappointing. I wish they would have made it so that you don't have a knife unless you have the proficiency on. Which, if you guys don't know, there is a proficiency for um, the SMG class that allows you to knife longer distances. But that's not really... <sighs> but regardless, knifing proficiency is kind of useless, so I don't recommend you use that because you don't really need it to knife very effectively. So... What's another thing I need to point out? Oh yeah, this game, guys, it's very, very balanced. I can't think of a single gun that is overpowered except for the Type 95. It's slightly overpowered. I haven't used it myself, but I've seen gameplays of it. It's the exact same gun as the FAMAS, guys. It's just a reskinned version of it. What does that mean? It basically means it's the exact same gun. It almost sounds the same. It has the same reload animation. If you use it, you'll see what I mean. And when I say the FAMAS, guys, I mean the FAMAS from Modern Warfare 2. Not from Black Ops. They're completely different guns, although they're the same name and the same origin. Origin, origin, I don't know how to pronounce that, that word, but... Another problem I wanted to, to um, just take a note, just point out, is everyone was complaining that Assassin was going to be the dominant perk, Assassin and Blind Eye, everyone was going to use that. And it's so far not a problem. In this game, guys, four guys on their team, I think, end up using Assassin at some point in this game. I think it was at one point I, my teammate calls in an advanced UAV and there was only like two guys on it, I don't know. The point I'm trying to get across, though, is that it's not a problem in Modern Warfare 3 this, this far into the game. Because in Call of Duty Black Ops, yes, secondaries were not that valuable. But they were more valuable than a Stinger missile, which doesn't really in the game. But like a Law Rocket or a Strela. The Strela is basically the same thing as a Stinger, that's why I'm getting them mixed up. But there wasn't really a... You didn't really need them. You could just have a secondary. But now in Modern Warfare 3, if you shoot down like a spy plane or any attack helicopters or anything like that... It, it counts as a kill towards your kill streak or point streak now they call it 
which is fantastic. Now, right here, you see me making a bad decision because I did not know about those bunkers. I did not know about that part of the map. This is I was only level 14 at this point, guys, so do keep in mind that I wasn't very experienced in this game. It's probably the best gameplay I had today. I haven't played at all since today, so let, I don't think that made sense. I did not play before today, so I got the game last night, but not released, but I did not play. But yeah, like this is... This game is fantastic. It really is. I mean, my first few games, I wasn't really understanding how to play the game because the maps. I wasn't understanding the flow of the game very well. But I've now realized how to play this game, and you need to flank. My style in Black Ops is rush down the middle and just pick off guys by outplaying them with your gun and with cover and just outsmarting them. In this game, you just gotta flank and rush, and that's really what I do. My perks in this game was um, sleight of hand, um, quick draw, and I believe stalker, I think that's what it's called. And that's a great setup when you're just starting out. I'm surprised I'm not... I mean... What's the way to say this? I was thinking I was going to use Blast Shield all the time. Because it's basically Attack Mask and Flak Jacket from Black Ops combined. But it's just not that attractive to me. I don't know. I just think Quick Draw is really helpful. Because it gives you that faster ADS. So. Who knows? I get my straight run right here. And this is a very great kill streak. It basically gives you five attack helicopters to just go right across the map and then come on back. And then they're basically done their job, which is very neat. They did me quite a few kills. And right here, for some reason, my game was lagging. In um, This is recording theater mode, by the way. My game was lagging, and for some reason, I could not hit that guy. But right here, you see this. I take out the noob tube. And just watch what happens here. I take out the noob tube to get this guy. Which, you know, I think I drop shot this guy first. Yep, drop shot. Now watch this. I take out the noob tube because I just don't want to die at this point. That one missed, but watch this right here. Right next to the guy, and I get nothing for it. I don't know what happened there, but the thing sucks in this game, guys, so it's not a problem whatsoever. One, one man army's gone, danger close is gone. So, anyways, guys, that wraps up this gameplay. It's, that's the end of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you really liked it, give it a like. Let's unlock it a favorite. Guys, if you guys would like to see more videos like this, give us so go ahead and subscribe my channel. That'd be really cool. I'll see you guys next time. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.